Hello and welcome to this YouTube tutorial on how to gain data from the Idaho State Tax Commission's website, download it, and put it into ArcMap and then um, build a map and then export it as a PDF. So the first thing you'll want to do is go out to the Idaho State Tax Commission's webpage at tax.idaho.gov backslash GIS. And you should see a page that looks like this. The next thing you want to do is click on the icon that says Taxing District Downloads and make sure that it's the year that you're looking for. Um, this year happens to be 2016. So then you'll want to select a district type and for here we're actually going to look at the school district. So we're going to do school year. Hit submit. Um, you'll have the option for the PDF map which is for the whole state, shapefile or district by county, which is just a list of the school districts by county. So the next thing we'll want to do is double click on shapefile and we'll download that. And I'm just going to create a new folder so I can find it. And I'll just do temp. And get rid of that. And if it's going to let me, it will not let me drag and drop today. So we're going to extract it to a specific folder. C temp. And there they are right there. So the next thing that we'll do is go ahead and then bring those in the ArcMap. So open up a new ArcMap document. If you have one that's saved with um, roads, etc., you can always bring it in there. Um, so then you'll want to just add the data here. So we're going to go see temp, temp, and there's those school districts. So the next thing you'll want to do is we'll, you'll notice we have it for the whole state. So once you bring that layer in, if you just right click on it, go down the properties, go to definition query, the definition query tab, go to query builder, double click on name, click once on equals, then click once on unique values. You'll get a list of all the school districts. So we're going to look right now for the Kamei school district. So just double click on that, hit verify. It says this expression was successful, so it should look similar to this. And just hit apply. You'll notice that there's just one item now. So the next thing that you'll want to do is just use your zoom in. We're going to zoom in here. We're going to change the color of it from purple to more of an outline. Um, so if you just click, double click on the the box here, it should open up the symbol selector. So we'll just make the line a little bit bigger and we'll do maybe like a red. Um, so you should see the outline of the Kamei School District. The next thing you'll want to do is um, up here where you added the data, you'll want to click on the little arrow next to it. We're going to add a base map. So we're going to add just the imagery with the labels. So depending on your connection speed, this might take a second or two to load. It's still loading. I paused it for just a second just because our internet connection is pretty slow here. So the next thing that you'll want to do is now that you have all that imagery in there, you'll just want to double click and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because you'll notice it's still a little hard to see it. So this um, should show the, the boundary of the Kamei School District on the base map. The next thing that we'll want to do is we're going to go to the design view. This is the what they call the data view right now. The design view is this little tab that's just to the right of it. If you look down towards the bottom of your map where my mouse pointer is, just click on that. You'll get a canvas that'll show up like this. We're going to change the size of it. We're going to make, um, so if you go to file and you go to page and print setup, um, right now it's at um, 8.5 by 11. But we're going to change that to 24 by 36. And we're going to make it a landscape. Uh, 36. There we go. So it'll look like this. If if it can if it has issues with canceling, if it says cancel down here, just hit your refresh button here, and you'll notice that the globe is working. Through the magic of delay, um, I was able to actually bring the canvas all the way to the map. So this is a full 24 by 36 map. Um, what you can do is, if you notice how it's really small right there, you can go through. Um, we're going to just add a little bit of a, a footer on it. 
and if you want to go ahead and zoom the map and not just the canvas you can actually go up and just zoom it here so we're going to zoom in just a little bit more in order to speed up time I've gotten rid of the aerial imagery um, just because it's really bogging this machine down so what I'm going to do is, um, now that I've stretched it so that you can see the boundary here, just imagine that the base map imagery is under it. It's, if you want to, you can turn it back on or off. Um, and you might not have these problems either with that. So the next thing that you'll want to do is um, we're going to go through and insert a neat line down here. Or we're going to, excuse me, we're going to insert a box. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, right click on the, the um, blank space here, hit draw. And my drawing tool should come up here. And I like to do a nice box, a nice clean box down here. And you can just leave it that color. And we're going to add a title. And we're going to go school district. And I'm just going to put school district down here. And we'll go ahead and um, add a legend. And we'll add a little legend here, and we'll add a scale bar. And a map can't be complete without a north arrow. So we'll add the north arrow down here. So after you get the map all authored up the way that you want it, the next thing you want to do in order to export it as a PDF, you go up here to File, go down to Export Map, and we'll just uh, do Kamii School. And this shouldn't take very long. Uh, yep, it's done just because there's no uh, imagery or anything. It's got to gotta load. So you should now have a PDF called Kamii School. And you can just send that right to your plotter. This concludes on how to take one of the taxing districts from the Idaho State Tax Commission, download it, and then create a map and export the map as a PDF.